Eric Mwada with Mwada.com with the U.S. market analysis for the weekend of May 12th and May 13th, 2018. With a few minutes to go before the close of Friday's session, let's take a look at those charts. In what has been a very successful week for bulls, but let's begin here with the main chart that I think this chart is going to be controlling in terms of where this market is going to be going in the short term. It is the NASDAQ monthly chart. And what we saw on Thursday and Friday is the NASDAQ attempt to break out above 7411.48, which is the current all time monthly closing high. So the takeaway here is very simple. If the bulls can push the NASDAQ above this level, then this becomes very bullish. And we can expect this market to take off again. Now, over the last two days, Thursday and Friday, we've seen the NASDAQ struggle to hold above this level. It's been trading above it, went as high as 7417, but right now this breakout is in question. So, a failed monthly breakout. We've had two days attempt at this. A failed NASDAQ monthly breakout means that we can actually start looking for reasons why this market might stall. Failure for the NASDAQ to take out this level becomes a little bit of a problem for bulls. Unless at some point the NASDAQ can now break out. Right now, if we go by what has happened over the last two days, we can say that this breakout has failed. So until we can see evidence that the market has enough momentum, enough strength, enough intent of moving above 7411.48, we can actually use the current two days failure to hold above this price as a failed breakout. Failed breakouts are notorious for taking markets lower. So irrespective of what the market is doing, we still have to insist from a bullish perspective that the NASDAQ can break out and does go on to break out above 7411.48. Right now, it is struggling to break out, which I think is a big deal. Failure to hold above that previous monthly closing high. At any rate, one of the bullish developments here, which might explain why the market has been solidly to the upside is because as we have been observing the nasdaq has remained above 69.1 on its monthly chart and as long as it is holding above 69.1 we know that the market tends to be bullish just like it was bullish in 2017 so net net as long as the nasdaq monthly is still above 69.1 we can expect the market to be strong there is a close of Friday's session. And we can expect the market to continue being sideways at worst, bullish at best. Take a look at the NASDAQ weekly. We can see that we've been watching this RSI 50 action over the last couple of weeks. And even going back many years, we see that the NASDAQ has been using the RSI 50 for support. And here we can see it held the RSI 50. And now we can see as a consequence of support here, market starting to build up to the upside. So that's bullish as long as the NASDAQ is holding above the RSI 50 on the weekly. Now, as we have ended the session for the week, now there's a line that I had previously drawn, which is a backtest line. Should be something like that. And depends on whether we can hold above this blue line. For continued push higher otherwise week to week if this ends up being rejection on the blue line then even after a nice week we can now if this is gonna lead to a down week in the coming week a pullback around here does suggest that the market might actually start stalling around here just something to watch but net net right now the takeaway is the Nasdaq continues to be strong because it held the RSI 50 on the weekly time frame. 
Now, one thing we cannot escape to observe is on the daily charts, most of the daily charts that I've been watching have this potential for a resistance based on the previous break of the highs here and we had a pullback. And what the market did is we've come back to test this level before and there was a failure to hold above that level for that what is the current 52 week closing high for the Nasdaq if not the all time daily closing high. This came with resistance on this line and as of close of the week on Friday we can see the market is aware of this line with a shallow pullback. So what the bulls want to see here is they would like the market to take out that resistance line otherwise bear sh bears on the other hand should be encouraged by the resistance on Friday and should insist that the market continues to show resistance in the coming days confirming that this is as high as it can go for now. So either we see resistance on this line and a continued pullback or the market can move above this line and continue on its nice move to the upside over the last couple of days. Now this daily resistance is like I said pretty much on many of the charts on the daily. We can even see for the Dow this is where we broke down off the highs there and pretty much what we've done over the last couple of days is come back to this level here. So somewhere around here either we are going to see resistance and the beginning of a pullback for a swing trade lower or the bulls might have it in their eyesight here that a potential breakout above that line might push the market higher. So pretty much the market will decide whether it has enough energy to clear that line otherwise the next swing trade is going to be either with a breakout for a move higher or resistance which might be suggesting around here we can start expecting some type of a pullback. There's another way of looking at the same line or the same level and if we draw a line on the one year daily for the Dow should be something like that you can see how this line connects nicely with the lows here and this was the break during this down day there and since then we can see the market's been struggling to hold above the line resistance on the line here with the back test failure of those highs resistance here of those highs came close here of those highs and we ended Friday right on the line so we can expect here if we see resistance this might suggest that around here there's a pullback in store otherwise if we can clear this line now movement above this line might suggest that there's another continued push to the upside we'll see how things go but it would make more sense if we end up respecting the same resistance again the two lines line number one and line number two might offer this market a reason for a pullback around current levels. Of course the same is true for the S&P 500 where we can see that this was the break of the 52 week highs and pretty much what we are doing is coming back to test that level. So again either we break out for continued push higher or looks like this is where we can start logically expecting some type of a resistance level keep in mind this is a is a level of some significance because it is around the 61.8 level on the daily rsi for the s p 500 so resistance around here will only make sense but if the market can clear that line we can expect a continued push to the upside if we take a look at the dow hourly we can see that on the hourly here this is where we broke down off the highs of late January and the market is aware of this level because if we draw the line right there you can see that this has been a problem spot for the Dow since this break you can see we hit this level here for that resistance hit that level there for that high 
and here again we've pretty much been stalling around current levels so that's something to consider the resistance on this line and there's also another way of looking at this which is like we see on the daily for the Dow is a, an area where the market might struggle because of a back test line which is this line here so let me draw that with a clear chart and this line was a short term break here we hit resistance off that high and over the last day or two market's been coming back to hit that line combine the two levels and you can see that if the market is to go higher then we need to see visual evidence by the market taking out that line or those two lines otherwise resistance on this line as we begin the new week might suggest to expect a pullback which might actually mesh very well with the resistance on the daily for the Dow and S&P 500 and also for the Nasdaq those who are bearish should respect the fact that we see the Dow back above 69.1 as long as the Dow is reclaiming the level back above 69.1 on its monthly RSI expect the markets to continue being stable at worst bullish at best as long as we are trading above 69.1 and also S&P 500 moving above 69.1 is a big deal so we should not expect a major reversal until the monthly RSI for the SPX is back below 69.1 so right now the market reclaiming this level is actually very very bullish now keep in mind I always show this chart because it's very relevant we can see a consequence of the market holding above 69.1 can be seen here in 2013 where we held the market was sideways at worst bullish at best for almost two years until the market broke back below 69.1 is when we saw the first initial serious pullback so right now as long as s p 500 is holding above 69.1 we can logically expect this market to continue being sideways at worst bullish at best so for now that concludes the free portion of this video the rest of the video is for paid moade.com subscribers otherwise for the rest of you guys enjoy your weekend i'll see you in the next edition